Hey friends, it's Ryan. Thanks so much for joining me for today's daily devotional. If you're like me, you are probably troubled by the images that you've been seeing on the news lately, out of Haiti, out of Afghanistan. It's yet one more example of how our world is broken, how our world is a very hard place to be, even at the best of times. I know when I see images, hear stories like the ones that I've heard in the last week, it makes me think of a question uh, posed by a philosopher uh, named T.L. Scanlon. Uh, if you've watched the TV show The Good Place, uh, which is one of my favorite TV shows, then you might have heard this question. What do we owe to each other? What do we owe to each other when we are in relationship with other people even when we're not, when we look at just the people around us, what do we owe to those people? Lately, I've been hearing uh, a, a strain of thought that comes out saying, uh, the best that we owe to others is you do you and I'll do me. Meaning, as long as I'm not interfering with your life and you're not interfering with my life, we'll be fine. And that statement really breaks my heart because it's, heresy of the worst, most profound kind. You see, you do you and I'll do me is a statement that denies that the image of God that I see in myself, I also see in you. Because if I'm just going to do me, I don't have to help you. I don't have to take care of you. I'll just do what I need to do. And you do what you need to do and we'll be fine. And we know that that's not the way the world works. The choices that I make affect you. The choices that you make affect me. The choices that we make affect people all around the world. You do you, I'll do me is not the way that God wants us to live in community. And it's not what we owe to each other. What we owe to each other is something so much more profound. When I was baptized as a, as a little baby, my godfather was an Argentinian man. Uh, and he uh, gave me, at three weeks old, this little King James Bible, uh, which is still up in my study. Uh, and it's, it's, this, it's starting to fall apart because it's held in my 38 years old. But inscribed in the front is the verse that he chose for my baptism, John 15, 13. There is no greater love than this, that you lay down your life for your friends. What we owe to each other, friends, is that laying down our lives for one another. And not just the people that we know, not just the people that we are closest to, but for everybody. Christ died once for all. Christ calls us into relationship in such a way that we take care of all too. What we owe to each other is not to separate on different islands and make sure we're taking care of ourselves, other people can take care of them, their selves. Our job is to make sure that other people are taken care of, to step off of our island, to say, I'll help you, period. Not, I'll help you if you help me. Not, I'll do me, you do you. I'll help you, period. The choices that I make, I will make with you in mind. The decisions that I make, I will make for your care also. What do we owe to each other, friends? We owe love. That's all I can think about right now as I see the pain of the people in Haiti as they are recovering from yet another devastating earthquake. When I look at the fear and, and, and st stark reality of what's happening in Afghanistan, I am reminded that what we owe to each other is to step outside of ourselves and make sure that the other person, whoever they are, is taken care of.